welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork. Joined today, we got Leo Vader in the booth. Hey. Hey, buddy. Oh. And uh, we've got Kyle Hilliard. Hello. We're in the VR goggles. That's right. I'm I'm con I'm looking at things, and I'm trying to keep my head as steady as possible. All right. Cool. Now, what are we looking at here, buddy? So this is Moss from PolyArc. Uh, it's a PlayStation VR game where you play as a little mouse named Quill, mm -hmm. and you kind of have to guide her around and solve puzzles and fight things. Why Moss and not Mouse? Uh, mm. Mouse was taken, probably, I assume. Is this a game called Mouse? There's a comic called M Mouse, right? That's yeah. Kinda... There's an artist called Dead Mouse, a musical artist. Oh, I thought that was yeah. Dead Mouse 5. There's also an animal called a mouse. Oh. Mm. But here we are. Okay. <laughs> so talk to me about... Issue. Yeah, talk to me about this... Game. Okay, so that's Quill, the little mouse there. Here, okay. I'm going to get away from the mic and I'm going to get really close to her. Okay. Yep. Little cutie. Aw. So that's that's her. That's the game. Okay. That's cool. Uh, but you can, you can control her and she actually has a sword and she does some combat and stuff. Okay, is it a needle... What is it? No, it's uh, a little green thing. Yeah, it's like a little little thing. It's All like right. a little. It's a legit sword. Oh, okay. And you, the goal of this game is you're saving your uncle after you kind of stumbled upon this magical artifact. Okay. It's kind of a kind of a Lord of the Rings situation where you got something you're not really supposed to have. Yeah, and there's an uncle in the mix. That's and there's mm -hmm. an uncle in the mix. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm actually, I don't know if I'll get a chance to see it, but I'm actually in the game, like Kyle, me, the person. I am the reader. And uh, Quill can actually see me and, and interact with me. And if there's like a reflective surface, you can actually see yourself in the game and you're kind of this like ethereal, spiritual, masked thing. And you kind of control this blue thing and it lets you interact with things and you can, in situations where Quill needs to be healed, you can heal her by kind of grabbing her and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, but otherwise, it, it kind of plays like a straightforward sort of platformer okay. and action game. So do you think VR is beneficial to the experience? I think sometimes it, it is, and sometimes it just doesn't really feel necessary. Mm -hmm. uh, like the motion control stuff, which is kind of a facet of VR, is like the most inconsistent element of the game. Okay. Like using the motion controls to interact with things just sometimes just doesn't work. That's just shaking the controller and stuff? Not, yeah. You're not playing with PlayStation Move right now. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just using a normal controller. Can you put your head back in the vice that we set up for you? This oh, sorry. The camera <laughs> movement is very distracting. I'm trying to stay as still as I can here. I don't envy you. It seems impossible. Uh, but there are little things like sometimes she will, uh, Quill will get excited after you solve a puzzle and you can actually like give her a high five. Okay. Which is kind of cute and stuff like this. So that I feel like is, you know, benefited by VR. Um, and then like looking around the map, like kind of leaning over and looking into things and maybe seeing where like little secrets are is kind of neat. But I don't know if that required VR necessarily. Okay. Like, I, like you could kind of use it probably just a normal camera because really it's just kind of a third person action game you right know? and i think that much like every other vr game that i can think of just watching it passively instead of having the headset on myself it does uh i think it loses a significant amount of whatever magic it may be uh using yeah absolutely so share some of what that magic is like imagine if you were like really here Okay, like, I'm in. Wow, that's what it feels setting like. Setting the stage, I love it. <laughs> okay, so now you're gonna fight a bunch of guys. Is this like a little kill room, basically? Yeah, you get these kind of little coliseum things, and okay. the combat's not super complicated. It's right. just kind of like a slash slash dash. Was it just X X X X? Essentially. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just the only combo. Is there a jump attack at least? Uh, let's see. There is, but I never uh, found much use for it. Okay. I'm actually I'm low on I'm kind of low on health here. Let's see Could this be the first time on new gameplay oh. today that we see a game over screen? Because that would be embarrassing. So I'm I'm healing Quill now. Okay, good. Because I got hit a couple. How times. did you do that? I I put the little blue globe thing over her and then I pulled the trigger. Okay, and in the universe, what happens when you do that? Uh, the idea is that me, uh -huh. as the reader, uh -huh. I am, like, helping her. I'm, so, like, giving her a hand. Is the reader just a character that you are inhabiting, or is the reader you, Kyle? Like, when you see the reflection, do you see yourself? Or and also PlayStation avatar? And VR goggles? <laughs> no, you see this, like I said, this kind of, like, sort of masked figure. Okay, so... 
Okay. But and then and then there are little breaks between levels where you're sitting in a library mm -hmm. and you're kind of reading a book. So the idea is like it's like a never-ending story situation, I guess. Okay. Is there a story reason why you, as the reader, don't just pick up all the enemies and snap them in half? Well, I, I can actually pick up the enemies. Really? Um, I can like pause them. In fact, to solve this puzzle, I will have to do that. Can you just pick up? Will and take her immediately to the exit? No, that that would be too easy. Can you come on, high five her reasonable. to the exit? Let's come on over here. Let's go. See, I'm. It's going crazy. Uh, no, I can't pick her up. Which, yeah, maybe in retrospect, that would have made things a lot easier. And I guess I can't pick up enemies. I can just right. sort of like direct them. Now she does not talk, correct? Well, that's the thing. So, a lot of the like hype behind this game has been the fact that Quill kind of speaks some sign language, mm -hmm. but she has a voice. Oh. Like she doesn't actually talk to me during gameplay, mm -hmm. but during the moments where you're getting the story, where you're sitting in the library reading the book, yeah. Quill speaks and has a voice and talks. So I think like she did a little bit of sign language during the end credits, mm -hmm. and and then like occasionally she'll react when you solve a puzzle. Um, and I think maybe she signed something, but it's it's not a big part of the game by any means. It's just sort of this neat little thing. Okay. And uh, so, all right, this is I gotta I gotta figure out this puzzle, guys. Last time we worked together on a puzzle, it, it mm -hmm. went really well, right? I think you just need to stand on those switches. So come on, little scare mm -hmm. guy. Finally. All right. So I think. Okay. See, there we go. Things are happening now. Yeah. This is fun. This is fun. I want. Well, I gotta make a bridge somehow. How do I make a bridge, guy? Because I don't want to kill both of you. No. Can I walk over here. No. Okay. Guys, I want to figure it out. Um. Uh, right. So my review for the game is on the site. I gave it a, a seven seven five. I do ultimately like the game. Like whether it really benefits from VR, I it it does, but I don't know if it's like wholly improved. Like. I, I would still want to play this game even outside of VR. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but as it stands, because it's kind of simple, you're just sort of looking over this, these sort of third-person action scenarios. Yeah. I, I like it, and I like the story, and I think uh, Quill in particular has just some of the best animation. Like, I think she moves really well okay. and looks really cool. Um, whoa. Can you move your head in such a way that we can see more of her? Uh, uh, so you're not seeing her right now? Not a whole lot of her. Oh, okay. Because so, I'm kind of like totally focused on her, so I, I'm okay. not. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing that's different. We're seeing pillars raising and lowering. We're seeing a little bit of her. So you sh there we go. Yeah, okay, now that's too much. Kyle. TV. It's absurd. Okay. Is that enough for you? That's, did that's did you get your fill? I don't ever want to see her again. So <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, that that is odd though. I'm surprised that like. I, she's not more in frame, even as I'm, yeah. I'm kind of looking at her. Yeah, this is again, this bit. is like a statement that, well, obviously is the rebuttal to what I'm about to say. But if you take away the VR, it seems like you are losing a significant amount of what makes this game interesting. Because right now, just watching it, it seems like any number of other action platform type games that I've seen. I mean, like the gameplay, you're you're stepping on a switch. To raise and lower something, it doesn't you didn't seem. Ah, like <laughs> uh, oh boy, Leo, I, I think I've had my fill of standing on switches. Wow. Yeah, I uh, like to move a crate. Maybe that'd be fun. That would be cool. Yeah, I, I think that's a totally, absolutely fair statement, Clark. Yeah. Like, it doesn't innovate in that uh, yeah. area uh, in any sort of significant ways. But like, if it weren't VR, the things that I would still highlight mm -hmm. were kind of like it plays really well. Yeah, it feels really good, and I really like. Quill, the character, a lot. Like, I know you guys haven't really gotten a great look at her, mm -hmm. but she moves really well. Like, I was trying to think of, like, like uh, uh, other sort of video game animals that I was as impressed as as I have been with Quill, and, like, I was thinking of maybe, like, uh, Trico from, like, The Last Guardian. Like, she really... Like, she, like there's a lot of custom animation and cutscenes mm -hmm. and stuff like that, and she looks... And she just looks really cool, and she moves really well. Okay. So that that if if it were not in VR, those would be the sort of things mm -hmm. that I would praise and, and highlight in okay. particular. And uh, unlike Trico, though, you you have direct control of Quill here. You're not just kind of directing something else to move her around. You're yes, I. It's this is essentially you know it's a third person action game. I yeah. have full control of Quill. All right. So I'm actually gonna try to look over here if I can. 
Okay. Okay, yeah, see, I have to go, I have to go back. Is there a fair amount here. of that, kind of moving around to to see what you need to do to complete a puzzle, like getting mm -hmm. off your chair, or is that like an element that pops up frequently? Uh, not really. Mostly, oh, yeah. like, this puzzle kind of has a little bit of it, and then a lot of the times you get, uh, you can find secrets by okay. doing that, but it's not really, like, a requirement. Like, you... You don't have to move your neck a lot, which mm -hmm. is good. Like yeah. I, 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 one thing that kind of frustrates me about a lot of VR experiences is that you're basically playing a game with your neck, yeah, which isn't uh, super fun. And as someone who's notoriously lazy like yourself, that's a deal breaker. In many ways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I've noticed sitting across from you how weak your neck muscles are. No offense. <laughs> that's yeah. you know, it's fair. It's fair. Hmm. It's fascinating. Let's see. What do I do here? All right. So if I if I get on that platform, I'm just gonna get I'm gonna get spiked. Right. And I. And you can don't pause want to the be action spiked. somehow? No, yes. Uh, I can move these guys out. Is that what yeah. I have to do? See, this is, I'm, I, like... Does that open the gate now? Possibly? Oh, yes, I believe. Actually, Cork, you're so smart. See, if you guys... I'm having trouble with this part of the game okay. here. Let's see. All right. So let's... Come on. So we're going to move you. Uh -huh. There we go. Look at that. We did it, you guys. Wow. I feel a sense of accomplishment. No, Scarab, get off the button, you idiot. This is just a bug. What are those little mice with wings? Those statues? What's going on there? Uh, I don't know. That's that's kind of another facet of the game I like, is that this world that they're presenting, mm -hmm. uh, it seems to have a lot of, like, kind of interesting history. Like, there's some hints of technology. There's even some hints of, like, human beings. Like, there's these statues that you find later that are, like, as large as humans that are shaped like humans, which is kind of cool. Is like... You know what what happened in this world? Why why are these anthropomorphic animals talking and have a society? Like what happened to the humans here? And uh, the game does kind of set up more for the future in the end. Okay. Uh, which can be done well. It's something you know, like set teasing for a sequel can is can be exciting. But uh, in this instance, in particular, it, it actually kind of it it, it it almost holds too much back, and I and I was almost I was just left kind of frustrated. Right. More than like, oh, I can't wait to see what's next. I was more like, well, come on, you can't just leave me there, you know. So, to your knowledge, is there upcoming DLC or like additional content on the way? Uh, I, no, I'm not sure. Okay. I, I don't know. Um, here we go. Okay. Uh oh. Now, Leo, before we started recording this, you said you had a really smart question that you wanted to ask, and I think we are at that time in the recording are you sure so let's have it you think it's time i think it's time <laughs> kyle get, get ready kyle I'm now ready. uh vr you keep saying mm -hmm. you and jeff you keep saying vr this vr that yep. now what does vr stand for a uh, good question leo oh look moss she's telling me that i need to do something i need to rotate See, the he's thing stalling because i don't think he knows the answer no uh vr uh i, I think now, I may, feel free to call me out in the comments after you do some Wikipedia research and stuff. I think it's it's virtual reality. I think. Does that sound right, Cork? I should have asked that when we had the VR issue of Game Informer. <laughs> I just assumed everyone else knew what they were talking about. I oh, think okay. you might be onto something. Now, virtual reality, that seems like an oxymoron. Oh. I didn't know you had a killer follow-up, Leo. <laughs> you gotta give me some warning. What can I say? I'm a Mark Maron-style interviewer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, is there anything else you want to show us here, then, Mr. Kyle? Uh, uh, no. I mean, this is this is a good look at uh, at Moss. It, it has a lot going for it. I, I it's it's uh, among my favorite uh, VR experiences, mm -hmm. just because it's kind of uh, simple in its execution, and I appreciate that. Yeah. It's just like a cool third person action game that's done well and then it uh, it's aided uh, by virtual reality so uh, for that reason I, I actually uh, enjoyed it quite a bit were there any sequences that made you feel like you were gonna barf to be honest no act that's another reason I like it because it's not it, it's mostly stationary camera situations mm -hmm. like this so I don't have uh, there weren't any parts where I felt ill or sick all right so that's a that's a big plus you put that on the back of the box also yeah <laughs> Look, there she is. I think Neither I give her ill nor sick. Here, I'm gonna give her a high five now. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready for it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. That's yeah, cute. She's uh, Quill's very cool. I like her a lot. So. Yeah. Can you uh, high five her too hard and smush her? Uh, uh, yeah. Can you please do that? <laughs> That's my question. Let's see if I can just get her to fly off of here. 
I think you've done enough, Kyle. Good grief. Yeah, but that's Moss. Uh, You can find my review on www... Oh, excuse me. HTTP colon slash slash www.gameinformer.com. Enter. Enter. And then click on the reviews tab, and you'll find Moss in there. All right. Well, Um, thank you for that exhaustive way of finding your review, Kyle. Appreciate that. Leo, thank you for asking all the tough, smart questions. And thank you, viewer, for watching. Bye. Bye.